Hey, this is Kevin David Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. And today we're going to be addressing the shoulders. And I want to give you a tutorial about exactly what the muscles are involved, the shoulders, and the way in which you should work your shoulders as well, because there's a lot of misconceptions about this. And we got some questions actually rolling in about um, requests actually about um, more in depth information about the shoulders. So let's talk about the movement. Anytime it comes to working a muscle, you want to find out what the movement action is of the joint that's nearby the muscle. So the shoulder is one of the most mobile joints in the body. Arguably it is the most mobile joint there is in the whole entire human body. It can go in circular motions like this. We can move our arms out like this. We can move our arms up like this, forward, backwards, retract the shoulder blades this way. We can shrug our shoulders up like that. All these motions are performed by the help of the shoulder joint and the surrounding muscles of the shoulder as well. So when it comes to working your shoulders, think in terms of doing movements that mimic those movements right there. So any kind of pressing overhead like this will work your shoulders. Lateral motions like this, moving your arms up like this, pulling your shoulder blades back, pulling your arms up like this. All those motions are what you want to focus on when it comes to working your shoulders. So keep that in mind first of all. Secondly, the actual muscles of the shoulders. Let's talk about those. So you've got this big chunk of muscle right here called the deltoids. You've got the anterior deltoids, the lateral deltoids right here, also known as the medial, and the posterior deltoids, which are on the back of the shoulder here. Then you've got the big triangular shaped muscles on the top of the shoulders, which are called the traps, or trapezius, for, um, if you want to go long form. And people often work the upper, mid, and lower part of the traps. And then you've got the loved rotator cuff muscles, which are right inside the um, deltoid area across the shoulder blades. And what we want to make sure to do is keep those as strong as we possibly can because rotator cuff injuries are not fun. I've had a lot of clients over the years who have had rotator cuff injuries for one reason or another, from, from wrecking a bike or overuse injuries or whatever, and they've had torn rotator cuffs or like really bad rotator cuff injuries, and it can take months to heal from those. So you definitely want to keep those strong. So for the rest of the month, I'm going to be doing um, videos on exercises that you can do to keep your shoulders strong and some of my favorite exercises personally. But before I get to those, I want to finish this video by telling you this. When you work your shoulders, if you're doing like a specific shoulder workout, or say you're doing like shoulders, tries, and buys, there's a very specific order you want to work your shoulders in, and that is this. Always start with your compound exercises first. So to rehash what a compound exercise is, also known as a multi-joint exercise, it works more than one joint and more than one muscle at one time. So let's go back to the press. So if you're doing a press like this, that is bending your elbow and bending your shoulder at the same time. So you're doing a compound exercise. If you do a clean and press, grabbing a weight off the ground and flipping it up like this, pressing up above your head, that's a compound exercise. Anything that has to do with two joints moving at once is going to be a compound exercise. Then if you have something like a reverse fly, for example, if you're on a fly machine, that's a single joint exercise or isolation exercise as it's sometimes referred to. And it works more of one part of a muscle. So when you're doing two joints, you're working more than one muscle, and when you're doing your shoulders, you want to do your compound exercises first because you don't want to wear out your deltoids by doing lateral raises and then come and do presses and like, oh, my, my delts are tired, I can't lift as much weight. You want to do those big beefcake heavy exercises first and then get your supplementary exercises in second. So keep that in mind. So hopefully that answers the question about the shoulder musculature and kind of the direction you should go when it comes to working them. And stay tuned for the rest of the month because we're going to be doing some fun reels on some of my favorite shoulder exercises. Till next time, this is Kevin David Rail reporting live. Chief Fitness Advisor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. Now, I might as well do a shoulder pose for you.